do you think at all that it's invasive to be forcing someone to to give their blood? Well, is any search warrant uh, in, in, invasive? I guess you, you, you could argue that, but um, under our law, uh, there is a procedure to seek a search warrant. Uh, we have to persuade a judge that there is probable cause that a person is driving under the influence, and if that judge agrees, um, then we obtain a search warrant. If that judge does not feel that we have offered sufficient evidence or probable cause, then we don't get the search warrant. And uh, also, not this year, last year, Lieutenant Governor Ron Ramsey had a bill that it didn't pass, but he was looking for um, you know, to be able to take blood samples of uh, people who were uh, charged with felonies to you know, put their DNA in databases. Again, the legislation didn't go anywhere, uh, but you know, to skeptics out there who don't like government taking their blood, you know, are there any reassurances that you can offer that that, that is or isn't happening? That, that, it, that is, that that is the, what happening. The, you know, the getting a, like, a DNA sample or, you know, so you can have their DNA records, you know, to use in the future, you know, for DNA databases yeah. or whatnot. I, I don't know the particular piece of legislation that uh, Governor Ramsey was offering and what change in the law that would have provided, so I really can't. Yeah, that without legislation looking at didn't that, pass. I really couldn't, I really couldn't comment on that. Well, that legislation didn't I, I pass. I will say the, that, that uh, DNA evidence uh, is very important for both sides. In some, time, in some cases, DNA evidence can result in showing that someone did not commit a crime. In other cases, DNA evidence can show that someone did commit a crime. So it seems to me in terms of getting to the truth, using DA, DNA evidence as much as possible is, 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 is what we ought to do. It's in the interest of everybody in terms of getting the right result. But and I might say that when I was DA, I mean, there was uh, one um, uh, fairly high profile case. Uh, there, were, there were some others, but one fairly high profile case of an individual who had been convicted many years ago, 15 or 20 years ago, uh, and who was exonerated as a result of DNA evidence, uh, exonerated of that particular crime uh, for which he was convicted. So, you know, it works both ways. But under this system, are, is the department retaining that DNA information of individuals that, that you know, that are, um, you know, they have to get their blood the, the, the department does have, when you say the department, you mean the department of, not this department, but the state, the state right. does have a DNA, DNA records on um, many individuals and, you know, you can run those results and it really helps in terms of investigating a particular case and again, I think it's to the advantage of everybody. Um, the person who is under investigation um, is, as well as um, law enforcement. Because again, you're really trying to get to the truth of the matter, so I think it helps everybody. And I guess just what I'm trying to clarify is that you know, under this law or mm -hmm. any other you know, blood samples that are taken, you know, are is that DNA information retained and put into databases because it's a this is blood taken? Yes, but how long it's retained, I really don't know the answer to that. But yes, there there is a database, so to speak. Of for people who are uh, accused or charged with DUI. Correct. Okay. But it's it's available um, to to either side in any case through through discovery. So.